Welcome to the typical show. I've got two interesting updates from the camp of Chatawale, the African dance working, the music genius and the music god, the god of Ghana music industry himself to share with you. The first one, he spoke about his music, explained the kind and type of music he does and compared it to iPhone. Then he compared the music of other artists in Ghana here to Nokia phone. The second update, he spoke about the status quo in Ghana music industry and also the status quo in Ghana as a whole, which will look into as well let's start with the first one he sent it to facebook and said this my music is like iphone no. if battery go low cry we go use power bank to charge it let the nokia people use their quality hard body battery phone and tell us it is authentic so then my girls go take selfie with our iphone with three cameras the consumers which are the fans determine good music it is not you the artist nor your dressing nor how humble you are if you don't have fans listening to your music, try Caliber hashtag safe. He said, if you don't have fans listening to your music, try go and start looking for aluminum and metals and things and sell to make money. But having the fans and making it in this music industry, it's not how humble, humble you are. Uh -huh. It's not how well you dress, and it's not how, it's not it's not because you have made a good music. No, uh -huh. that is not a, that's not how it works. Then he said his music, like Shatale, is like iPhone. iPhone, we know that the battery is very weak. We are using it, you know, it will go <laughs> low battery off. But Nokia phone has very strong battery, durable, authentic battery. And he said this is what they say other music, music, mu musicians or, or, or other artists in Ghana here, their music is like. And the music industry, they are always uh, looking down upon Shatale's music. And he, they say he doesn't do quality or good music. His music that doesn't last and all that. And he said at the end of the day, when he releases his songs, and the other artists who have who do authentic songs, good songs, release their song, the fans, whose song do they go after? It is his song. Even the fans of other artists, if they want a song to encourage themselves, they go to Shatawali. If they want a song to make themselves brief, they go to Shatawali at the end of the day. So it's like iPhone. Everybody wants to use iPhone, even though iPhone battery is not strong. That is how everybody loves Shatawali's song, even though they claim Shatawali's song is not authentic. That is why even the iPhone users, they will look for power bank to continue to use uh, iPhone, even if it is not authentic and it goes low. It's a song not to listen to. Eh? Then he went ahead and said this about the status quo in Ghana first, before the status quo in Ghana music industry. He said, they say going to school will get you well educated, get you rich, and that is the status quo. But many are living today, not rich, but well-educated, but finding it difficult to pay bills. And this is true. That's the reality in Ghana right now. We have a lot of unemployed graduates. And we have a lot of educated illiterates who are having certificates. But they say they are going to school. But actually, their knowledge, their wisdom is so down and limited. And we have poor people living in this country. In fact... The rich chess people in the Ghana here, if you check, they don't have that any school background. Some of them didn't even go to secondary school. Some didn't even go to chess. Some even got their school. They didn't go at all. But they are having the big, big companies. And they are rather employing those who are in school or who are going to school. And when they even employ them, they employ certain number that they think they need in their company. Then the rest all are unemployed. And these rest that are unemployed, they are still sitting down hoping that somebody will start a company or start a whole business. Then the person will employ them. See how they have been trained. You you cannot start a business on. You cannot also start something for yourself. Somebody should start so that you go and work. So if everybody is sitting there for somebody to start for the person to go and work, who will we have any work in Ghana, a company or anything in Ghana here? Instead of you to start something, you say no. With certificate, you are sitting down, waiting for somebody. And the people who are starting are people who didn't go to school. Somebody will spend four years building a business. He didn't go to school. And somebody will spend that same four years in school, spending the money. Then after that, when he come out of the school, he want to come and work in the person who was sitting home for years and building his business, his company. Look at how it is in Ghana here. Look at mm. And this is what Shata is saying. Today, the musicians, they are going to school. It's Tomboy, Samini, and Ko, and they are using it against Shatawali, that he is not educated, he's not going to school, blah, blah. Meanwhile, when we look into it very well, he's the one making the money than all of them. Look at it. School. Yeah. See, Schooling is different from educating yourself. You can go to school, but you come out uneducated, holding a um, certificate. Mm -hmm. Education is every day. You don't need to go into the four hours of school to educate yourself. You can learn everything they are even learning in school and overlearn it without stepping in school. Be, be smart and be sensible. Uh, 
It's not about the certificate alone. It's about the wisdom and the knowledge that you acquire. You go to school, you have the certificate, you don't have the wisdom and the knowledge. What are you? Mm, so he went ahead and went to the music industry and said this. They say releasing song has a way and that will get you fans, money, connection, features, etc. And that is the status quo. But Shatawale has never followed all these procedures. But he is living his dream life with the same music business because he never followed that way. Note this. God created you to find yourself. Find it yourself and stop listening to lies of men. And that is true. God created you with a purpose. Find out your purpose and follow that your purpose. And stop listening to people and listening and following what people are saying and doing what people are telling you to do. It will not get you anywhere. You fail in life. Find your purpose that God has brought you on this earth to do. Follow it and that is what will bring you the success you want on this earth and make you enjoy life on this earth. Chatter has found his purpose right from a child. As a child, a teenage, he found his purpose. Follow it today. He's enjoying. And that is true. And you see, in Ghana, yeah, the status quo in Ghana music industry is that you have to release song. After you finish releasing the song as a musician, you have to do video. After you're doing the video, promote the song, go and play Paella to station, radio station, and present test, then then play your song like that. And then the song become a hit and everything. Then after some months, six to one year, before you release another song, Chatter came, change it. There's no way. I'll, I'll release song according to how my soul or my spirit tells me to. If my spirit tells me to release 10 songs today, I'll release the 10 songs today. That's why Shatale can release 10, 20, 15 songs in a week, in a month. At the end of the day, from January to now, he has released 39 songs. And look at the songs, they're all bangers. And he's making money from the songs more than any other artist in Ghana. Yeah. And it doesn't follow the ways and the status quo in the Ghana music industry. It follows its own way, its own path, and its own style. And today, look at what his style, his path, his way is doing him. It doesn't follow. If follows what God is telling him, what his spirit is leading him to do. That is what, what he feels like he does. Then at the end of the day, see where he is now. But those who are following the rules that the music people or the gatekeepers have set in the music industry, see them. Look at what they are doing. And they are struggling. This is what he's talking about. It's very important. So this is very interesting on the camp of Shatale. Share your thoughts on it. We'll meet again.